Right, hello everybody, Andrea here with Soul to Fit. I blog over at soultofit.com and I teach you how to uh, fit patterns for yourself, by yourself, and for your taste and your style. Now you probably have been looking at my videos and you know that I have a lot of pattern fitting videos, but now this is something different. Today I'm sharing with you how I've been trying to get my act together, how I've been trying to organize my life because more and more things have been piled on my plate regarding the business, my sewing, well, regarding the blog, and now that I've added an other, other elements towards my life, you know, doing different things has made it a little bit more complicated. So I've always used or tried to use a planner pad or other things, but I thought, let me try something different. So I ordered this. Um, it's another kind of planner and it's called the happiness planner the heaven wow look at how nice this box came in you know it uh um came in the box like this and i have not opened it so i thought i'd share it with you guys what it's all about and since i'm in my car you know i just picked it up at the at the post office so i thought okay let me go ahead and open it up because i'm so excited i want to open it up like right now so this is why you are actually doing a video in the car because I'm just that excited and I want to show you. So I'll take off my seatbelt because I'm not really driving. Okay, so let's look at this. All right, so here we go. This is the happiness planner and this is what I got. Okay, the happiness planner came in this box and um, this is my first time opening it. I tore the plastic off. It came with plastic covering. So I apologize that I am in my car and this, I was so excited after I left the post office, I just had to show it to you. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. It is a really nice box. Look at that, really cool. I like that, that's gonna be a nice photo box. Okay, so the first thing I got here on top are some gold paper clips, really nice gold paper clips. Then I have a, I guess that means happiness planner. And so there's, I guess that, uh, I don't know what that means, happiness planner. Then I have your ability and possible, your capability and possibility in life are only limited by the wall you create for yourself. Nice. So it's a lot of stuff in here. Then we have, so I'm just going to put this in here. I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to put it back in the box. Okay. Then I have a vision board vision board maker nice qualities I want to improve values I want to enhance skills I want to adopt master nothing on the back so I guess that's something you can make I've never really done a in the a paper vision board I guess I could do that in 2017 I will what do I want to achieve nothing on the back Reflecting on 2016, the lows of the year, what did I learn, who am I grateful for? That's going to be hard for me to fill out. I'm not, it doesn't, <laughs> this kind of stuff does not come easy for me to fill out. More 2016, what did I learn? I guess I got two of those. My New Year's resolutions, uh, I don't know, I don't usually do New Year's resolutions, but you know, that's worth it. Okay, my bucket list. Now that's something I would do. Last year I had hoped to run or walk the marathon here in Houston, but I didn't. Um, my goals by the happiness planner, what I want to achieve, challenges. So you have one here and one there. So I guess you can copy these onto, onto cards, four by six cards. Then change a habit in 30 days. We got my goal planner here right here change a habit in 30 days so we have I guess you just fill it out as you go up the habits or goals that you're trying to change then here is the planner okay wait a minute we got something extra over here oh gold clips and a gold pen wow very nice Focus on the positive. So I guess that's what happiness really stands for. Focus on the positive. Nice gold planner clamps, binder clips. Okay, so let's go take this up. It's got bubble wrap. 
nice bubble wrap more box i'm saying i'm gonna lay this on the box like this so y'all can see it Woo! i'm excited let's check this out here we go take that out bubble wrap open this up here we go oh wow this is heavy this is really nice not like heavy heavy it's lightweight actually to be honest with you it's just it's thick it's it's like a, a bound book wow why do i go to the back i always go from the back first y'all <laughs> and this is this is probably the first thing that i notice when i go from the back first this here gets stuck so i guess that gets turned as you work through it so then it oh see now i've already found the problem i don't like okay that's i guess that's something to do with the way it is it's got a little pocket on the inside two pockets no just one pocket it's, okay then we have all of the beginning pages what have you overcome so basically it tells you what the happiness planner is all about okay 26 rules to live by for a happier more fulfilling life embrace your me time that's what i need to work on i do self-reflection too much as it is have an open mind i don't have an open mind too much <laughs> okay happiness road map the art of being happy what makes you happy so i guess you fill this out you have to do all of these before you start working in your planner to help you to utilize your planner a little bit better so what makes you unhappy so you have what makes you happy what makes you unhappy what are your strengths and gives you some uh, words to help you start writing your strengths what are your weaknesses what qualities or habits would you change would you like to improve I'm going to use this pen to point. This is going to be nice, like the point, okay? Uh, what qualities or habits would you like to improve or change? And then, so I have that in the way. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm trying to make sure I center. What and who are you grateful for in your life? Gratitude is a powerful way of thinking that can greatly increase your happiness. And then who would you like to see? What have you achieved so far? What have you overcome? What lessons have you learned? What is your definition of success? What are your dreams? What do you want to achieve in life? And how do you see yourself in five to ten years and what is holding you back what are your fears what do you want to achieve in the year's time sum up what you will do in 2017 then it has a 2017 calendar and a 2018 calendar and before you get started please rate how you feel right now on a scale from 1 to 30 so i guess you'll be dealing with that as time goes on and finish this off after a year okay so now let's see moving on to a year happiness of happiness positivity mindfulness gratitude and self-development and then you get january oh that's a lot of space up there these are kind of small these are exactly one inch one inch by one inch little tiny 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 uh, to me that's a waste of space <laughs> we should use that that space should be used the tabs are cardboard they're very heavy so at the beginning of the month january is not there at the beginning of the month you plan your goals for the month and then you start on your days and then you just go from your days well of course we're on february now so you plan February, you reflect on January, and plan February. So that's the last day of January, which is right on the back side of the reflection. So there is no place for notes at all. And I'm a note-taking person. Okay, so you start with the plan, and you have your year, I mean your month. You end with your reflection, 
and then you start with the next day the next month's plan so basically each one of these is a day let's look at the day a little bit closer so today say for instance this is one page per day all right so we have one page per day so let's look at the day in the process of letting go you will lose many things from the past but you will find yourself Deepak Chopper Chopper then here's another one Leonardo DiCaprio if you can do what you do best and be happy you're further along in life than most people nice so basically you just they have different ones for every page okay so basically I guess we go in here start the day or we end our evening the last evening with this information by finishing off the good things about today from the yesterday so at the in the evening we put any good things about today for the end that the day we just finished and what we were grateful for and what we hope for tomorrow and so tomorrow we start filling out our chart Today I'm excited about what exercises I've, do, I've done or will plan to do, my main focus for today, and any meals I plan I will eat or have eaten. Then I put my schedule and my six to-do list. So I have a main focus for today and six lines for to-do. I have a small note section, which is exactly two inches or two and a half inches by one and one-fourth inch. And good things about today, that's my final thoughts for the evening and I guess I could just knowing me I'll be writing all in the corners and stuff <laughs> probably put some stickers up here depending on what I do but basically for me I can't really see I can't really see an entire year's book this book is almost two inches the rings are almost an inch and a half or an inch and a half thick and I can't see having a book this big, so I would definitely need to have a separate book to write my notes and to put my journal in. This is just a book, I think, to help you reflect and really get ready for the, for the, for the day. Um, it's more of just a to-do list. It's not even a bullet journal because there's no place to write notes. So you definitely would lay this on your desk and it would just sit there on your desk every day for something to give you some place to reflect and discuss in your own mind what you thinking about and what you have to do. All right, so that's it for this here. Okay, so I hope y'all enjoyed that little quick review of the happiness planner. Uh, I didn't get to the back part of it. I forgot. I'm so sorry. But basically, it is one big, thick book of the same daily planning pages. And then at the end, you have your um, review at the end of January. You have a review of the year. It goes over any items you might want to list for each each month um which i didn't see this one here it has a list of the month each month how did you feel or how did that month come out number one would be happiness excitement energy it asks for your scores for the month of each one then it goes over 2017 review what describe 2017 in your in three words so basically it's making you reflect on the entire year so i suppose if you've been completing each daily and each monthly reflection you'll easily be able to reflect on the entire year you can't seem to do this kind of review what were, what new things did you discover about yourself what did you do that got you out of your comfort zone did you did any negative events happen this year how did you overcome them what and who are you most thankful for you see some of this stuff you can't reflect on if you didn't do it on a monthly basis it would be difficult and then even after that you only have a little bit of in room here to me i wouldn't try to reflect on everything in here this is something that would be best suited for a journal uh, because journals are more time, they, you, they last longer, you can put pictures in them. This 
also I'm having problems closing it so I can't see myself using this like every day or for something that uh, that I would use all the time this was very expensive I'm very 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 should I say I'm disappointed I hate to use that on this scope I really I mean on this uh, video that I'm really disappointed about this I hate to say that but in a sense I am kind of disappointed because I, I like to be able to function and I don't think this is functional I think it's a desk binder or a desk item I think it just sits on the desk it's to be pretty um, so for now I'm gonna stick with <laughs> my and I, i'll if you want i'll do a review on the uh, planner pad later but for now i'm just going to stick with the planner pad and um keep using it i'm waiting for my update right now i still have an old book so i'm waiting for my new book to come in and um i'm going to go ahead and uh invest in a cover for this planner here this planner pad and i'll review that if you guys want me to in more detail in, the, in another video all right so i hope you enjoyed the video on planners and stuff like that i'll do more if you ask because i have a lot of planners and i don't know what i'm going to do so thank you for joining me i appreciate you andrea out